following is a presentation of TFNN. The Global Market Pulse with your host, John Logan. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, John Logan. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. Friday morning here. I hope you guys are going to have a good weekend. I hope you got some good things planned. I'm going to work. And uh, that work is, is – I want to show you something that I think is really cool here. Um I'm going to do a lot more analysis on some of the instruments that we that we look at every morning because, um, in my opinion, we've got some <clears throat> we've got a lot of headwinds in in force against the S and P's right now. But you know, I mean, taking a step back and, and getting away from the day to day grind of it and taking a global look at it, you know, I'm not I'm just not. We're losing our charts again. Hold on, let me try to restart this. Hope you guys are seeing the charts now. Um, I, I'm not so convinced. You know, this is, this is, this is. These are massive things going on right now globally, and the S and P's are, are really not acting terribly bad. I mean, we're off a little bit from the all time highs here, but you know what? If I'm short, I I, I really want to see this thing getting dismantled a lot more so, and it's just not. It's not. It's not, it's not really happening. I mean, I know the Chinese rigged their market again. I mean, if you guys hadn't been reading the news this morning, we've got the, we've got the uh, you know, government intervention. Is that the word I should use? Government intervention measures that are happening on the you know, Chinese stock market again. I mean, they basically took the <laughs> – took if you, if you didn't hear about this, they took the, uh, you know, the speed bump rules off and, and the – yeah, this, the five percent rule. I mean, that was way crazy for the volatility of that market to put uh, market shutdown measures in on 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 that particular percentage. But you know, they so the so the fix was to go in and have you know basically the government support the market um, and take the rules off. So you know, who who knows what the real value of that market really should be as a in a free market situation? Um, you got a communist government still. I mean, there's there's you can't get a valid – you get a number out of that country based on the internals, based on what the government wants you to know and hear. I mean, it's – a, as you know, I mean, you guys probably know and have feelings about this already that the uh, the game is rigged over there. But uh, that's why our markets really – you know, we kind of ignore their numbers on the way up, and we should probably be ignoring their numbers on the way down. And, and you know, what happens in China obviously has a chance to affect us, but all things considered – and some of the things Tom was saying about the bond market yesterday, which are, you know, just spot on, um, you know, these things should be really eclipsing higher levels um, if there's a real fear in the marketplace. Now, now what's happened on the bonds, I'm going to go back to these S&Ps in just a second. What's happened on the bonds or the notes, excuse me, you know, we've closed above our daily profiles. We've kind of used it as a little bit of a support measure to, to move higher. But guess what? Um you know, the big lid on this is 127.14, and we reached a high 127.10 yesterday and didn't didn't want to go any higher, especially towards the end of the day. It was it was a weird situation for the S&Ps. Um, I, didn't, I didn't see those sloughing off, but I want to talk about that. <laughs> Duffy's saying it's in the den. It's rigged here, too. Uh, I, I'm not going to disagree with the uh, – yeah, we're, we're hiding some uh, some wounds over here constantly. Thanks, thanks to Obama and his uh, crew. Uh, you know, yeah, that's a whole other conversation, Duffy. Uh, but let's go back to the S and P's, and I want to I want to bring out something, and and you know, talking about looking at it from from a objective viewpoint, stepping back, uh, I'm still looking at this 1954 area as a big number, and I actually think we could edge a little bit higher off of this. But I want to I want to look at what happened yesterday, and I want to look at it relative to uh, a barometer that I look at all the time. I want to look at it as uh, I want to look at a barometer. I look at it all the time, and I talk about it all the time. I want to look at our breath calculations, and I want to 
I want to say that, you know, yesterday was, you know, we were kind of getting a little bullish in the morning um, and we had a big move up. I mean, from where we were starting this show, we wished we reached, uh, we, we reached a low of 1931. I'm still, uh, I'm still drinking from last night. I can't speak. I'm just kidding. Uh, and we reached a high of 1969. So we had a 40 point S and P move up. Now we looked at it and we talked about this as, you know, we've got a trading opportunity here, not an investment opportunity, a trading opportunity. And, you know, we talked about getting past some of those 60 minute, you know, green shoots that were happening, um, getting above here and where were we, I'm sorry, this is yesterday. God dang it. So, you know, we got above this 1945 area and we talked about on the scanner, I'm going to go back to the scanner and I'm going to bring all this together in just a second. I tend to ramble, but you guys know that. So we, we had these green shoot shoots happening here. And by the way, here's our, uh, charts that we're working with here. Um, I, I think you guys are going to love these again. I've, I've made some hollow promises about getting them out last this past weekend. And, um, Again, this this coming Monday we're going to release these. I got everybody working overtime since since the Slack programmers decided to come back from vacation. I'm just kidding. They did take a a break, a well deserved break, I might add. And um, I love how these are coming together. And now I can do all my things on my end. So, um, but you know, as we look at the speed dials, I want you to look at what the breath was doing on our short term. We, we talked about some overextensions and, and to be honest with you, like yesterday, I w you know, you kind of tap on the glass of a gauge when you don't think it's maybe it's hung up or maybe something's stuck. That's, I, I actually got the guys. I was like, go look at the servers, see what's going on here because this breath is not even remotely coming into any type of positive situation. So as we had, and let me go here. This is seven. This is eight. Okay. As we had come, you know, we, we were still, I think the best we got was a lot 40% negative, but we weren't having any breath. You know, the internals of the stock market, there was no basis being put in as far as some of the new profiles attempting to appear. The breath wasn't even getting close to going positive while the market was up to what 1960 what was the high yesterday again let me pull this up there's the high 1969 so again the breath got up to about negative 40 percent on the 60 minutes I was like man it's just there's not a lot of cohesion going on here so um you know i got trailing stopped out of this thing and i'm glad i did um because it just there wasn't a lot of collusion between the internals and what the uh, the index was doing on its own moving up. So there was no base profiles being put in. We're going to talk about that on the educational videos, things like this. But catching a trading bounce doesn't mean you have to hold on to it forever. We're gonna we're gonna uh, expand on that a little bit more on the S and P's when we come back, guys. is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry. Powered by the acclaimed Taz Proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. 
Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. John takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. Um, JB, thanks for that comment. He's, somebody in the den was just saying that some of our folks on the uh, support side are, are not acting, are, are acting well. I'm sorry. <laughs> what am I saying? All right. Act, act cordial and supportive on the, uh, on, the, on the tech calls. So thanks for saying that. I'll pass that on, JB. I, I, I got a great crew. Um, I'll show you some, some pictures. Actually, I'll, I'll show you some pictures right now. How about this? This is uh, uh, a, a you know a little outsourcing company that we have down there. There's there's a what the heck is going on? It's locked up. What the? F okay. Okay. There's a picture of me when I had a 103 degree temperature. Um, but uh, where are we at? Where's some of the people that work down there? Well. Not there. Here we go. Well, I don't know. Okay. Well, I thought they were on here. Anyway, I thought there were some pictures of, of folks on there. Let's get back to the S&Ps really, really quick. Um, well, you know, JB, uh, just on that topic, you know, it's kind of an American style of doing business there that I brought to the table. Everybody loves it. You know, a lot, a lot of a lot of folks in these and in, in people that work in some of these other countries, you know, the Chinese will move in business guys and, and treat people like crap. And, um, you know, it's, it's refreshing. Um, some of the things that I brought to the table there, it's, it's profit sharing. It's, you know, really, you know, things that are relatively normal here, but, uh, it's a, it's a breath of fresh air for folks there. And, uh, we've never had anybody leave the company there. So it's, it's, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a team effort. You coined it perfectly. Getting back to the S and P's though. Um, and feel free to call us anytime. Feel free to email me anytime, by the way, and we'll get it in the right person's hands to help you. But, uh, on the S and P's, um, you know, we talked about this breath that just, ex it, it, it wasn't really showing a lot of, you know, hints of, of, getting excited about crossing over 
and the uh, the amount of stocks trading above the S&P 500 were just relatively minuscule. But I'm looking at this 1954 number. I mean, we're going to have some changes this morning as stocks start to open. But I'm looking at this 1954 number again. We're trading 1950. I'm I'm wanting to be long above 1954, and I'm wanting to be stopped out below 1954 or 1953. Excuse me. What's the number? 1953.05. So it's really that simple. And a Friday close above 1953 for me is going to be huge on these S and P's. Now, again, I've list I listen to David White every day, um, and he's been he's been pretty spot on about some things. And maybe we're going to have yeah you know, maybe another day or two of this, and then it might be time to start nibbling. Um, and he had some funny comments about BlackBerry yesterday uh, that I was enjoying. And uh, but uh, I, you know, that could happen. So keep that in mind about the S and P's. But I'm looking at 50, 1953, 54 as kind of the Maginot line. I want to be above that area to be long. And if I'm below that area, remember we always try to talk about looking at the markets in this manner. Let's block out one side of the marketplace. And if we can get some legs at all on some indicators that we use, and it was nice yesterday to kind of be in the market or do the show as the market was open. Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. I was doing Larry's show for him, and it was nice to kind of get through the opening and be able to talk through the opening for you guys. And uh, But that's the way I'm looking at it. 53, 54 is my big number. Now, looking at the uh, dollar, you know, we always talk about trying to buy support on this thing. I want you to look at this, and I want you to look at how these support areas act. So there's, there's 98.30, and here's the uh, – the 98 number on our weekly. So we reached a low yesterday of what, 98.11. And we talked about that DMZ between 98 and 98.30, just, you know, let, you know, dollar buy points, dollar buy points. And you might, you might be saying, well, you know, when did you tell me to get out of this thing up here? We talked about the POC 99.37 on the weekly. So right now, for me, the dollar looks relatively supported. I, supportive. I like how it's bounced off this inflection point and got away from it. All right. Do I need to do my hand like that when I say get away from it? I don't know. You guys tell me. Um, so that's the situation on the dollar. Remember, U.S. stock market likes a stronger dollar. U.S. stock market likes likes lower rates. Um, and gold, just to go through the usual suspects here, we talked about trying to look at the uh, short side again around 1104 why because that's that weekly unfair high we reached a high yesterday of 1113 that was a little bit too much extension for me but i'm back in the game again uh looking at 1104 as again orient and stops based on my appetite for risk above there so you know gold's met some targets on the upside that 1090 1104 but, but uh i don't know if gold is gold should have reacted in my opinion a lot more bullish in this scenario and it didn't and neither did the notes and bonds like tom talked about and that's uh that's why i'm looking at the u.s stock market as objectively stepping back from it going you know what let's kind of put all the pieces together here and it's it's it, it, it to be honest with you it should be a lot worse plus we've had a decent pullback already and uh some it may start bring, bringing some buyers in let's take a look at silver really quick yeah, we do have a jobs job a big jobs number coming out in about seven minutes, so uh, we're going to get prepared for that. Uh, here's silver. Silver has acted basically how we thought it would act. Is you know, anytime you've got resistance to sell, fourteen forty two. Yes, I will, Peak D. I'll show that in just a second. Um, sell resistance, sell resistance, sell breakdown. So silver's acted relatively weak again, especially relatively weaker than the dollar. Or excuse me, than gold. Let's take a look at uh, crude really quick. Oh, man. I can't. Let's see. Where's crude? Here we go. So, um, got about a minute and a half left before break here. And then we'll be open. The show will be going on when the uh, jobs number comes out. So, here's crude. Here's our daily. We talked about selling breakdowns on this still and selling resistance. There's nothing new here, really. Um, you you got a little bit of a you know short-term inflection points to pay attention on the 240 here. But, uh, again, do I think it's time to buy crude yet? Um, not exactly. Not not yet. This is still not. 
I mean, I like how we've kind of reversed a little bit yesterday, but uh, languishing here, we could, you know, revisit these lower lows, these lows again. I'd like to see a new profile put be put in place on uh, the daily here on crude oil to start nibbling. Remember, let somebody else figure out where the bottom is. All right, let's go back to the notes really quick. And uh, what do you do after this jobs report? Remember, we want to trade the reaction, not the initial action. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm just, let's let it settle out. Oh, man, we're headed to break early. Huh. All right. We'll be right back. We'll be up before the uh, jobs number comes out. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. It's true. Life is all about choices. At EvaBank, they're making it easy for you to make a smart one with this special cash offer. Open a new yield pledge money market account with funds from another financial institution or deposit new funds into an existing yield pledge money market account and you could earn up to a $500 cash reward. And if you're opening a new account, you'll also get their new higher six-month bonus interest rate along with their yield pledge promise that ensures your yield will always be in the top 5% of competitive accounts at banks nationwide. Open a new account or add to one. It's your choice. To qualify, you must meet balance and other limited time offer requirements. Go to everbank.com forward slash TFNN for details and deposit options or speak with one of the banking specialists at 1-855-750-4051 for more information. You must act by December 31st, 2015 to be eligible. Everbank is a member FDIC. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi guys, welcome back to the show. Uh, we're going to look at GDX. Mark wants me to look at that. Uh, okay. Well, um, again, similar, you know, to gold. I, you know, again, fifteen twenty-seven. Uh, I'm just a big fan of selling anything related to gold. Uh, that's your number up there. Um, here's our daily, obviously showing a little bit of. Strength just like gold, but again, you know, overhanging big time inflection point there at 1527. I mean, that's that's your 
lofty goal. <laughs> if you want to talk about it on GDX, I don't. I, you remember remember that these long term inflection points take pres, precedence, precedence, not presidents over over the shorter term. Uh, let's take a look at copper. March copper. Ah, Dag on it. Get this chart right. Oh, that's nice. That's really good, John. Here we go. I'm not used to hearing the word John. Yeah, there's there's like seven Johns in our company, and uh, everybody calls each other by their last name. Uh, here we go. Jobs report is out. Let's see. S and P's moving north a little bit here again above that nineteen fifty three fifty four. Now I'm looking at this as uh, something to to buy actually, and orient and stops around that number. Okay, guys, this is real time quotes I'm showing you right now. Uh, the scanner is gonna let's see here. Shouldn't be much delayed here. Yeah, so we're getting above here. Um, yep. All right, there's a level of the market. Hope you guys can see that. And uh, let's just look at our chart. Wow. I love how these things are working. Anyway, uh, so... Let's take a look at the notes really quick before we look at copper. Yeah, I mean, the notes are kind of backing off here. I mean, it's getting below 26, 23, 24. It's going to be looking relatively shortish on this particular instrument. Um, let's take a look at copper. Wow. March copper. So, um, again, China is affecting a lot of these commodities. Again, slow down means less buying. I don't have to tell you guys that. But now, my God, it's 2.0456 on copper. We're below there, and we want to look at that now as selling resistance, selling breakdowns. You know, things on their lows can go lower, guys, and this is a prime example. Um We've been in a trend. We've hit resistance again up here, just like we hit resistance there. I want you to look how these profiles act. It's new profile, top of the box. 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 This is a trend down, and this trend has not been broken. So to answer your question, uh, John from Philadelphia, what's the, uh, what's the outlook on this? Still negative. And, I mean, I hate to make it so black and white with these profiles, but the long-term view is what it is. I mean, it's, you know, I'll go into the scanner here. Let me go to future section. Let me see if uh, we got copper right there. And as you can see, it's right across the board. Boom. There's a level of the market. And, God, please charts be right. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. So, that's the situation on copper. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Let's see. AM and ABX. Let's take a look at these. <laughs> well, let's go up higher. GFI and HMY. What is G? Let me see here. GFI. We're just looking at some instruments that some people are. Th yep, here we go. GFI. I'll pick one of them here. Uh, gold fields. Again, you know, these things have, have kind of moved up, but you've got. Again, lids. I'm I'm a big fan of selling resistance on these things. So 337 is is the lid on that uh, GFI trade, and I think you, gold might pull back, so it might not even get there. So I'm, I would be a big fan of taking profits on that HMY, and it may look like you know I don't do a lot of putting a lot of different things together as far as technicals going here, but the the profiles make it pretty black and white for me. And uh, that's why I think we can, geez, whoa, what is this? Harmony Gold? Ooh, 1.44. So can only get a zero, huh? <laughs> okay, so again, talking about the profiles, 
Is this in the scanner? Is HM1 in the scanner? Let me check. Uh, let's go back to our dashboard here. Nope. If you want that in the scanner, if you guys want certain instruments in the scanner, we'll take a look at putting them in here. Uh, let's see. But uh, looking at the profiles on our long term on HMY, it's kind of, you know, close above, go back and retest. And that's the break in trend at 0.84, at 84 cents. So again, you know, this is kind of outperformed that a little bit here. Um, gold uh, may relax a bit. Let's take a look at another one that was. This one I'm a big fan of still. It's kind of similar action, breaking stride here on the upside and going back and retesting. Uh, 684 is not a bad fence here to lean on on uh, this Southwestern Energy Corp. Uh, I think we've got a caller, Don from Odessa. Don, are you there? Hey, John. Thank hey. you for taking my call. Yep. How you I, doing? Uh, I took a chance yesterday morning and bought SWN okay. at, uh, at 652 because I heard you say, hey, it looks like it's a good bet, and it was. <laughs> Right. Thanks. <laughs> it well, seems. I, it, it, you know, you got to watch out for these these stocks here. Um, this is the this is the daily on on SWN, Don. I mean, these are trading bounces. I mean, yeah, you know, crude, I know. Oil, crude oil could fall apart again, but yeah, it's a low risk trade. Uh, I'm glad it worked out for you. If it the did. The reason why I, I wanted to, I wanted to find out what the resistance level was on your charts. Okay. Um, well, we got a new profile here on our on SWN, and and the the the, the seven dot fifty two area is going to be kind of your next at least take some off the table there that's exactly what i was thinking 750 so that's good great that's awesome we're on the same page here but you know cr crude is showing some semblance of slowing down on the downside i'll say that yeah i'd really I'd, again i'm showing the chart right now i'd really love to see a daily profile kind of appear and be able to kind of lean against that thing um you know, it's just, I mean, we look at the 240s. I mean, we're still kind of edging down here. And, yeah. you know, it's a, a lot of these stocks like SWN, though, as soon as crude oil shows some semblance of basing and, and you know, some technical kind of setup that it might climb higher, I think these stocks will lead that move. And obviously, SWN is kind of showing that, hey, I'm raising my hand and uh, pay attention to me. Yeah. Well, I, I appreciate the call yesterday. That looked good to me too. So that is—it wasn't just based on what you said. So. <laughs> well, thanks, Don. We—I but... hear the music. We got to go to break. You want to hang out until no, the break? No, I'm Thank you so much. Okay, buddy. Thank you. Bye. 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 Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts 
charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up to the date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under trading newsletters. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. And I think we've got another caller. Is this uh, Carlos from California? Or yeah, Mr. Logan. Good morning. Ah, nice to hear from you. Well, uh, I have a question. It's uh, uh, related to the VIX. Okay. And, um, and the uh, the way I can, uh, because I'm, I'm planning on getting your um, uh, scanner. Okay. But I noticed that um, in three hours, I don't see that moving. And I want to know how you actually scan the VIX and the, uh, the short SB, uh, is, um it is B X Y and U B X Y because they're three times faster than the VIX. And can you help me in, in showing me how to scan it? Okay. Okay. Your first first part of your question was on the VIX period, and and what's your question again? Because I got mixed up a little bit there. I'm I'm from North Carolina. Yeah, I'm remember? Sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. The, the <laughs> what was the first part of the, the VIX question? And the fact that the VIX. And the effect that the VIX has on the short three times uh, V X V U V X Y and S V X Y. S V X Y. Um, you know what? I have to tell you something. I'm not. Ex I'm not familiar. A lot of times with these pro shares, I trade a lot of futures, and I look at the VIX futures, obviously. Um, so, you know. So, so the question is: Is what what effect does the VIX have on the V yeah. U, UVXY? How can I scan it? How what's the process of scanning that specific product? The VIX and the other two. Scanning it. Um, well, let's go back to the VIX itself for a second. I'm looking okay. at the Thank January you. contract. Is that? Let me see here. Yeah, I'm still looking at the January contract here. Hold on. Sure. Current following month instead of okay. UV, UVXY has the current and following month inside of it. Okay, thanks, Steve Rhodes. Yeah, I'm not familiar with these uh, these pro shares. Probably like some of you guys because I strictly trade the uh, the futures a lot of times. Um, let me uh, let me just make sure we're on the same page here with VIX. Um, so, okay. you know, my my VIX analysis is on the long term. You got some support at 1997. Um, I, yeah, I, I, you know, I'm not a big fan of the market in general. Obviously, this is this is very stock market dependent, without question. Um, I'm not a big fan of the market in general falling apart too much anymore right now. So the VIX would obviously kind of calm down, but in, in under that theory. But let me uh, let me look at the SVXY. I, and if 
And in fact, I'm, you know, I'm not one to, to really talk about the relationship between the VIX and these particular products. Um, I don't watch them, but, uh, I guess the SVXY is the kind of opposite VIX. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. I, I get it now. Okay. Um, I, you know, I hate to tell you this, but I'm probably not the person to talk about the, you know, the, the ratio relationship of how these things act together. I can give you what my thoughts are on the VIX, if that's okay with you. Sure, sure. And, and the most important part that I want to hear from you is how you scan it. What was it, the, the way you use the software? Okay. So I don't have an idea how you use it in this specific uh, vehicle. Okay. Well, okay. So, so let's just stay focused on the VIX then because the other ones okay. are, are not in my wheelhouse, to be honest with you. Um, You've got 1978 and 1997. That that is support on the VIX right now. Okay, we've broken out, and and that's kind of the way I'm looking at that. So as I go back into my futures section, and I look at the scanner, you know, I'm I'm looking at you know we're obviously first week we've broken out. So that's what that one means there. Um, if if you're seeing my screen, um, yeah, and, and both of the both of those areas right there if you see that 1997 and then that 1978 that's that's going to be really big time support for the vix so a lot of times these things will break out and then go back and retest all right that's kind of the powerful trade and i and the vix is is not immune to um you know no, you know normal technical actions i'll say so in my opinion you know you've got the market which i think is going to be 1953 1954 supportive and at the same time, if that's the case, then the VIX could relax a little bit and then come back and retest on a pullback this 1970, 1978, 1997. And that's, that would coincide with the, with the, uh, with the S&Ps being a little supportive at 1953. So, you know, this thing doesn't have to pull back. But uh, if we start breaking down below 2151 on the 240s, remember the 240s kind of regulate the trade up. So any pullbacks to that support area would coincide with the market rallying just a little bit here. And then we'd have to reassess when we get down into that 1978, 1997. But I think the VIX could relax a little bit here, put it that way. Um, now, can I ask another question? Uh, sure. Is this um, is your uh, software? Um, as accurate or as reliable uh, when you're scanning a stock than when you're scanning an ETF? Yeah, I mean, we've got as many ETFs as people ask questions on in here and actually email me, and I pass them on to the programmers, and they just slot them in. But, I, you know, I look at the ETF grid. I'm showing it right now as, as a way to kind of gauge relative to profiles what's hanging in there and what's not hanging in there obviously the xlu the utilities is kind of the anti-sector when the market's going down but uh and that's just a traditional statement but i look at these sectors and if i see things starting to show green shoots or, or some anomalies happening i want to drill down into these sectors um i've been relatively bearish on you know crude oil and therefore when i talk about something like that I'll go into the XLE and I'll say, well, you know, what's kind of what's kind of showing their self as not wanting to cooperate with crude oil going down. And that's why we kind of looked at SWN, for example. There's a lot of other examples in here. EQT Corp is one of them. Um, and I'm looking at these relative to, to just a simple red green situation and also errors up here. Noble Energy Corp, um, not the best one on the board, but uh that's how I look at it. And if you want to do sorts, like you can come in here on the on the ETFs XLE, and you can come in and you say, oh, you know, what's what's trading above profiles? Okay, so SWN is the only one. Um, I can also go into this and say, you know, what's what's been getting the the heck beat out of it, but starting to show some green shoots here, turning around, nothing really on the on the uh, on the daily that's been down on the weekly. But then if I go to the 240. Yeah, there's not a lot of reversal situations um, on that particular sort. But, you know, we've, we've got a manual on this. Um, I don't know if that's on the TFNN website. It defines everything on here. Do you have access to that? Uh, no, I don't. But uh, if you actually, uh, if it's in the website, I can go ahead and find it. 
Let me do this. Let me let me make a note for Tommy to, and and the guys at TFNN to go ahead and get the All manual right. on the site. I'm sorry that that's not on there. Um, that's, let that's that'll be on there thing. today. I'm gonna I'm gonna email it to him today, and that that's actually a great great thing you just brought up that that's not on there. So that'll define a lot of these things within the scanner. It, Mr. Logan, that, thank you very much. I can hear the music, and I appreciate. It. I'm gonna be a more uh, consistent call in your program. Thank you. Thanks, Carlos. Thanks for calling in. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under Trading Newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Larry Pesavento, a 40-year veteran trader. He uses pattern recognition, Gartley's, Butterflies, ABC's, and Fibonacci in order to trade these markets. Trade what you see next on TFNN. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. And uh, we got about what four minutes left here and uh just see, let's see we want to talk about some stocks that were you know in a market like this you want to find stocks that are just like the rock of gibraltars of the world and um what does that mean that means that in a down market it's really cool because the scanner will really put those strong stocks that are hanging in there on your radar screen and we were talking about walmart i mean it's just you know, like shooting a fish in the barrel when you find those relatively strong stocks. And you can step in with some confidence, put the stops in, let the market go to hell in a handbasket, and just, you know, really have the confidence that at least I'm buying things that people don't want to sell, you know. And that's as simple as it gets. And 
you know, <laughs> you get all complicated. You start this line crosses this line, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, listen to all these things. I mean, it's really simple. What are the stocks that nobody wants to sell in a, in a bad, bad situation? This is one of them. All right. So this is one that really kind of got some legs and it's, it's just literally amazing. All right. So that was one I wanted to kind of revisit with you. Also, you got to remember these, these folks in China, they're not seasoned investors. I mean, you know, they are, they are freaking out. The government's going to eh, calm things down. Hey, we're going to step in and buy more things. And it's just like the fed buying notes and bonds. I don't know why we were – how could we say that that's wacky? You know, I mean, we come in and, oh, let's let's buy our own treasuries. Same – you can't say a daggone thing about that, all things considered, when, when we, we're the ones buying our own treasuries. I mean, yeah, whatever. Amazing. So uh, also I want to note, you know, some of these news agencies that come out – I'm on the emailing list. Till the cows come home with with these um, financial blurbs that come out on emails. You know, I look at these things. I look at some of the things that they say, and then I think about how calming it is to listen to some of the guys on TFNN and really get a full understanding, you know, of the markets in general from different angles. And these are coming from guys who are in the know on TFNN. And I look at like you know, Zach's the bottle, you know, whatever of the world. Man, they flip flop around on a daily basis. They give you stocks that like "thanks for telling me now" type situation, and um, then after the fact, go, "Oh well, see what happened." Yeah, and this is why. Stay away from it. Stay on TFNN, guys. It's the best advice I could give. Advice? Did I say that? Suggestion? Excuse me. Um, let's take a look at Apple. I can't say advice. We're not giving advice. Anyway, let's take a look at this. All right, so we've had now we've had some uh, some chip makers come out and say, "Hey, we're slowing down." Not not you know that have crazy dependency on Apple. I don't know why that would be earth shattering news to anyone. But we talked about selling this one hundred four and a half or one hundred four twenty nine into one hundred six and some change DMZ one hundred four twenty nine into one hundred six twenty nine. And I want you to look how this works. Go down, go back up into the DMZ fall apart all right so when we when we break these weeklies and we go back and retest them and there's a bearish connotations on these stocks like apple i don't care if it's the darling of your entire life and you live in the iphone world these technical changes that happen you have to pay attention to them you've got to understand that this is a sick stock in a sick market all right this is exactly the opposite of a walmart type situation relative strength trading you can always fall back on it, and you can always look at the inflection points that the profiles provide by blocking out one side of the marketplace as an enhancement to that theory. <sighs> Have a great weekend. Stay tuned for Larry. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.